Hi, this is Christian, and welcome to NFL Updates Express, your weekly dose of NFL news. Coming your way, the Hall of Fame game highlights. And this is how the Hall of Fame game went down. The Hall of Fame game was between the New Orleans Saints and the Arizona Cardinals. The game first started when the Cardinals kicked off to the Saints, and Drew Brees led them right down the field when Ingram scored a one-yard touchdown run over the goal line. Kevin Cobb had a terrible day, as his first pass was intercepted by Malcolm Jenkins. And two series later, he got injured, and that was the end of his day at Fawcett Stadium. So here comes John Skelton, ready to take Kevin Cobb's place and ready for action. He led the Cardinals down the field and finally scored a running touchdown with Alfonso Smith. The Cardinals are ready to take the lead over the Saints. But that doesn't happen because Chase Daniel, the backup quarterback for the Saints, comes in and he does a great job as he leads his team down the field and John Casey kicks a field goal to give the Saints a 10-7 lead over the Cardinals. But the Cardinals are not ready to give up. Unfortunately, they do when they go 3-0 and out and the Saints get the ball back. New Orleans charges down the field and scores a patch passing touchdown to Terraris Cadet. And the Saints take a 17-7 lead over the Arizona Cardinals. In the third quarter, Chase Daniel is still in at quarterback, and he still looked phenomenal. They charged down the field, but on the five-yard line, he, he threw an interception, which ruined the drive. On the Cardinals' next drive, Ryan Lindley drove down the field, and when it looked like a touchdown, it was not, and they had to settle for a Jay Feely field goal. Now, in the fourth quarter, the Saints are ready for more, but they lose yardage on a wild snap. And the next play, they throw an interception to Larry Parker of the Arizona Cardinals. But wait, there's more. The play is overturned by a challenge flag by New Orleans. You'll see this play later in the You Make the Call segment of this episode. The Cardinals get one last chance, and Ryan Lindley almost did that. But on the seven-yard line, he throws an interception to Saints linebacker Lawrence Wilson, which ended the game. The final score of the first NFL game, the kickoff of the 2012-2013 season, is Saints 17, Cardinals 10. This is the You Make the Call segment of NFL Updates Express. We fir our first You Make the Call segment is when Saints third string quarterback Sean Canfield supposedly throws an interception to Larry Parker of the Arizona Cardinals. But after later review, the ruling on the field was overturned and the Saints got the ball back, even though it was fourth down. So now we want to hear what you think. You can put what you think in the comments down below. Please no hateful or mean comments as we will delete them. Talk about what you think about the call. Is it right or is it wrong? Do you prefer the call or do you want it turned over immediately? What do you think? We really want to know. Thanks for watching You Make the Call and thank you for leaving your comments down below in the comment section of this video. Your comments are highly appreciated because we like to hear what you think. Now thank you and spread the word about NFL Updates Express. It's highly appreciated.
the player of the week is Calvin Johnson from the Detroit Lions. Can he avoid the Madden curse and put up the same numbers as his 2011 season? We'll find out this year as the Lions try to get back to the playoffs. Breaking news in the NFL. We'll first be discussing that Andy Reid's son, Garrett Reid, was found dead Sunday morning, August 5th, in his bedroom. The death was apparently caused from drug usage. Garrett will be missed by Eagles fans everywhere, and best of comfort goes out to Andy Reid. But, on the bright side... Terrell Owens may get signed by the Seattle Seahawks and bring his talents back to the NFL. There is also some hilarious news coming out of Detroit. You're right, Christian. According to Lions wide receiver Nate Burleson, they need their own Lambeau week. The Detroit City Bounce, he says. He wants something for Detroit's own. It's a working title, though. Finally, Raylan Edwards is signed this time by the Seahawks. He will be in the mix for the second or third wide receiver in 2012. 